Hey, it's Jeff at 650 Cycle, and I'm out here working on the XS Cafe project again today. Uh, last video was Breaks Part 1, and I didn't really intend to make a series of this. I'm hoping Breaks Part 2 is the last of the series, because I don't really want to work on them anymore. Um, if you notice, I got the Carhartts on. It's 3 degrees outside, and I know some of you live in much colder temperatures, but 3 degrees is cold in my mind and in my neck of the woods. So... Uh, got everything running, all the heaters and everything, and we're up to 50 degrees out here in the pole barn. So <clears throat> we're going to move forward with this today. Uh, last video, I took um, my calipers, and I was trying to free all of the pistons up in them, and I was having a little trouble with one, so I decided to take the two calipers and mix and match, and didn't realize that they are specifically left and right. Both parts are specifically left and right. So uh, I went to put it back on the bike, and I was like, wait, this came off the bike, but... There is no way that this is going to work on the bike. There's no way for it to fit where it needs to go. It's just not lining up right. What is wrong? And then it dawned on me, oh, I put the wrong part on there. So I've got a left and a right put together, and they don't work together. They bolt together, but they don't work together. So I am in the process today. I am going to take, and i got to get the pistons taken out of the other side so that it so that I can get it functioning and then put the right pieces back together so that I have a caliper that goes back together the way it should and I really want to get the caliper on and bled out today whether that happens or not I don't know because um, I think I might run into some issues and you may see that later I've kind of tested some things out and um, I don't know if I'm going to get them bled out and I don't know if I'm going to get it mounted but we're going to try so uh, with that being said let's hit it I need to use this piece and this piece. So this piece was locked up, the, the piston was locked up in it. Um, and we're going to get her broke free today. And I'm going to show you how that happens. Watch right there. See what happens. I'm going to throw this in there because I don't want them to actually come all the way up. I'm putting that in there just to keep them from hitting each other. This is the one I want, so I'm happy with that. So you can see what happened. This is the one I want, and it's moving out now. So I can get it out, get it cleaned up. This is the side that I need to mount on that. This was the one that was giving me problems last time. Um, what I did, I stuck some WD-40 in there in hopes that it would break that up. Using my 14 millimeter Kmart wrench. Watch it. It's gonna go poom. Come out. Pop. There it is. Pull these apart again with my fourteen millimeter Kmart wrench. I joke about it because they're very uh, they're not very high quality wrenches it's about a 14 millimeter wrench put it that way got it Ooh, she's a little crusty I don't know if you can see it but it is really crusty around there Ooh, there's a lot of crust on that one some crud in that. Oof. Yucky. But I said I'm just dragging this. I'm not pushing it. Just doing light scraping to get the fluid out of there. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to make another trip to Casco pretty soon. Get a case of those blue wipes. This one is a little crustier than the other one was. Wow, that snapped right back in there. Slot her back in there. There we go. All set. Sometimes I clean up after myself. Last time I didn't. My brake fluid out. Here's a trick. Spin it as you're rolling it in there. It'll apply more even pressure and it'll, it'll should roll in there a little bit easier. Remember what I said last time? Put the cap on before you make a mess. And I'm going to apply air and we'll see how they move. To move. This one, the other one didn't move at all. So let's switch this back out. This is the one I just did. Let me see if I can get this one to move because this one uh, was not moving very easily today, right now. Squirt it a little bit here. There it moves. First time this one moved and this one didn't. This time that one moved because I had that one clamped down. I'm trying to get them moving freely by doing this. All right, we're gonna try it again and see what happens. I don't want just one of them to push out. I want both of them to push out. This one blows out really fast and quick and easy. I want to get this one moving a little freer. I don't like that it's as sticky as it is, so I'm going to mess with it some more. This one's moving really good back and forth. This one's getting sticky. So we're going to give her another clean. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Listen, listen for the... Here it comes. Oh, I'm up on my clamp. The other one popped out right now. Well, I'm glad my finger wasn't in that one. Yikes. She come a shooting out of there. These so don't fall off somewhere and I lose them. There's a lot of crud down in there. Ooh, oh, that's the hole. No wonder I felt something. <laughs> it's the fluid in that hole. I was like, oh, there's a score. Nope. It's supposed to be there. I'm not feeling anything that would indicate to me that this thing shouldn't slide down in there the way it should.
there's not uh, there's a little bit of crud but it's not to the point where it should be I mean it's better than it was this there we go put the cat back on before we make a mess all right I set it on there it sits where it should See if these pop out like they should this time. Ah, it moved that time. This one moved that time. It beat the other one out. There we have it, a right side caliper. All right, here's what I'm running into. This fits over that just fine. I got a big gap here. The reason I didn't have a gap here before is because they had different spacers on it. I put even spacers on both sides so that my tire and rim was centered but what that did was it moved this over so i'm going to have to put a spacer in on these and run those in so i have to work on that my bleeders at the top i also have to make sure that this clears on the on my rim uh, it looks like it should i mean it depends on where this is at it can't go any farther than that so oh we had a snag right there but Might run into some other issues. Um, I'm gonna try to mount this as far out as possible to keep. As a, like if I push it all the way in, um, it's a pretty tight clearance in there. This is a pretty tight clearance on the wheel, so have to kind of make sure that it's going to clear before or even after I put those on. That's where I'm at, and I think I'm done for the day. Well, that's all I'm going to do today. I know that I said that I was going to try to get them blood out, but with the situation of the caliper mounting, not where I had originally intended for it to be, um, I have some other things I have to get done today. <laughs> I thought maybe I could push it with this. Uh, and once I got going, I kind of realized that probably wasn't going to happen. Uh, essentially, what I did was I pulled the caliper apart and cleaned it. Um, got everything functioning on it and it is ready to go back on and be a functioning caliper uh, functioning braking system uh, at some point once I get the lines hooked up and bled out so that's all we got for today so if you're out riding ride safe